guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm already knowing y'all here for a nice tutorial, so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to get straight to it. So as you see, I'm right here, part of my hair. So last time in my lock video, when I did the butterfly lock, shoulder length, I had did the box parts. But here you see, I'm just parting like basically oval. I'm not really having any type of accuracy in my parts. I'm just parting and going. Then I'm going to put in my two favorite products, which is the Shine Gem for one. I put that on my roots. Then make sure that's all in and saturated. Then I go in with my edge effect. Now that is giving like a more steady hold and making sure everything is in place. And doesn't look frizzy for the next day. Like this will make your hair hold really good. And then I'm braiding it down. So like a lot of people like kind of ask me like does it have to be braided you have to braid your hair all the way down to the end technically you really don't because you're going to be wrapping your hair around anyway so it could be covered but i do insist that you braid at least halfway through your braid like that like you see i didn't go all the way down to the ends so then here this is the most important part i want you all to oil your scalp because you're going to be putting in a lot of hair through this crochet needle through your real hair and that's going to be creating a lot of tension on your hair so you want to make sure your hair is strong oil and nothing could go wrong with this process so here you see me moisturizing my scalp and then you see how my parts are i did the parts a little bit smaller towards the front though so it could look more full so now i'm doing my nunu locks these are 18 inches i bought six packs of this hair um in order for it to be 36 inches of course i'm going to tie it together because 18 plus 18 is 36 yep then I'm going to loop the lock through my hair right there. And I'm going to pull the hair through the loop as far as I can to my roots. So now I'm going to take the second lock. In order to make it longer, I'm going to tie them together. And I'm going to show you how. So the first lock that you put into your hair, you're going to take it from the bottom. And you're going to unravel it into two pieces. Not that far up, just a little bit, enough for you to stick it through the loop and tie it down. So now you see me putting the hair through the loop and I'm going to tie it one time. Then I'm going to go in and tie it again. This is making it more secure. I see somebody do it one time. I don't know how their hair stayed in, but it did. I don't know. But I did too because that's the only way it's going to stay in for me. And I just gonna stay in for y'all that way too. And then I wrap it and then I roll it together like so. Making sure everything is sealed in and won't fall out and pop out of place. This is very important. Make sure this part is catered to the most because you don't want your hair sticking out and everything and looking crazy. So now I have my passion twist hair. It doesn't matter what brand you get. I don't have a complete recommendation. But this came with 12 passion twists in the pack. And when I split it up, I split it up into four. So 12 times four is 48. So 48 plus 48 is whatever. A whole bunch of braids. Some people have split theirs into two. I don't know how many came in the pack. So it just depends on how many you have in the pack of your passion twists here. So now that I'm splitting in one fourth, I'm putting in one fourth of the hair into my lock and I'm doing a wrap it and wrap it around my hair now my hair is shorter so I only put I leveled the two pieces of the passion twist hair at the same level and wrapped it around if you have longer hair I would say do like an unlevel make one longer than the other so when you wrap it the hair could extend longer that's my greatest recommendation for you so this is like a soft lock. I didn't do like any distressed things. I didn't do nothing extra to my hair. I just simply wrapped the hair around my braid just to cover it. I didn't want that distressed messy look since I already had that look with the butterfly locks. One tip I have forgot to mention before was when you wrap the two pieces from your hip, from your previous lock, you want to make sure that it is that you are wrapping it in the same direction as the lock. So if you pay attention to the lock, it's a pattern, and they wrapped it in this one direction so that the lock can form into a lock. When you do that, when you wrap it around, make sure you wrap it in that same direction so that it could seal in to the lock easily, and then it won't be 
sticking out and unraveling throughout the day. I caught myself doing that. I had wrapped it in the opposite direction at first. And then I had went in and had to correct it because I noticed, like, why was it popping out? That was why. Okay, and as for the finished product, this is how it looks. So this point, this part is very important. Oil your scalp. Oh, look at my hair. Like it was a relief. This was like two days after I had finished my hair. I just had kept forgetting to film it. But my hair still looked fresh. So I'm like, why not? I could still record. But this part is important because a lot of people I have seen on like social media saying, like, this hair broke, this style broke my hair off or whatever. Now, I can see how because this is a lot of hair that you are crocheting into your roots. So, that's like a lot of tension on your scalp. So, what you do need to make sure you do is oil your scalp every single day of this hairstyle. If you feel like something is pulling your hair or irritating your hair, oil your scalp. Because that was me. I found myself doing it. And it was annoying. So, I made sure my hair was being oiled and moisturized. Because I didn't want my hair to fall out. That is so heartbreaking. Not embarrassing, but heartbreaking. So then I go in with mousse as well to give it like a soothing feeling because mousse just is so cold and soft and plushy. When you put it on your scalp, it just melts and everything. It's like, it feels so good. I love this process that I have, this part. And then my clients love it as well. It's like, it feels so good. If you have to put this on your hair every day as well, go ahead and be my guest. But I only need to do this like the first three days because it didn't bother me after the third day my hair was okay but i still do on my scalp every day don't forget to do that so now to get cute i'm gonna put in my even edge tro i believe that's how you pronounce it and i'm just gonna put that on there and lay my edges that's gonna finish my look the crazy thing about my edges is it look like i ain't just have no edges right but when i put the edge tro on there like they came out of nowhere but i guess that's a good thing i guess i just gotta make sure my edges done everywhere i go but anywho that's basically the wrap around. Well, I was to go outside, so I just tied my hair back, something cute, because I didn't want to flip it around because it was too tight. You know, you don't want to have no type of tension or no pulling on your hair. Don't do that. But anyways, this is the end of the video. I appreciate you all for tuning in and watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, so please, 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 don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Love you all.